people think Chainlink is going to be what settles Swift transactions. TCEIP is great. Don't get me wrong. It's great for moving data between counterparties and across chains. I mean, it's a great Oracle, but it's not for the settlement of value. It's clunky for that. It's not the thing. Hedera is great too. Also for security and data protection and HIPAA compliance and segmentation of data. Also, it can be used for settlement, but fees on that network may actually end up being higher because they're dollar denominated versus using XRP. And they have a similar throughput. And again, the XRPL's the second ever blockchain launched. It's been trialed for 13 years at this point with the banks. Tested, true, never been down. It's paused a few times. There have been a few times where the network has paused, never gone down. Can operate offline. There's a bunch of different benefits to the XRPL. And they're only getting more and more robust as they add these additional amendments for KYC, AML, credentials, AMMs, liquidity pools, permissioned domains, all the other stuff that's currently on the docket and has already been passed are stuff the banks want. They need it for legal and compliance. So people that are paying attention, it's very apparent that the XRPL will be the you know, the majority of what settles value globally on the back end for institutions and enterprises in the near future. 